Hey everyone, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter for the WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Please check out our friends at PittsburghWrestling.com, IndieWrestling.us, so you can pick up and you know so much. We got a great article, SorgatronMedia.com, this week at least with this recording uh, of people that we have in our catalog for digital downloads that have been to WrestleMania or are going to WrestleMania. It's a really eye-opening article what we have in the collection. But today we're talking about WrestleMania 25. Oh, I'm sorry, the 25th anniversary of WrestleMania. Kind of a weird uh, name swap up that they had there. Um, but still, uh, this one, uh, you know, again, we're back inside an arena. Um, and uh, Kid Rock performed. Yay. We had Santina Marella, the first Miss WrestleMania. Which, by the way, I want Miss WrestleMania to come back as a concept and not be a joke for Santino Marella. Uh, it was the, the year of Mickey Rourke and the Legends, and we discovered Ricky Steamboat could still freaking go. Uh, this was a big thing, since you're seeing the clip right there. Uh, Matt Hardy versus Jeff Hardy. I remember the first time I watched it, watching this show, and I don't think I've watched this WrestleMania since it originally aired. Uh, I was uh, overly underwhelmed by it. I was like, oh, well, that happened. Okay. Um, and I think, in retrospect, watching it again, um, it's a good match. It was uh, no rules, so there was really kind of a TLC match in the long run. Um, and, uh, and I thought it really carried itself. I thought it was really good. Um, but, uh, you know, generally it was an interesting, I, and I had a conversation with, uh, DJ Lunchbox from, from Wrestling Mayhem show yesterday about the, uh, that is the first of the Shawn Michaels versus Undertaker matches. And, uh, he says that that is like kind of the perfection of a wrestling match. When he wants to get somebody into wrestling, that's the match he shows them. I'm kind of, kind of curious your thoughts on those as we uh, as we get in here, and you guys can drop comments on the uh, YouTube's and the Facebooks wherever you're finding this video. Uh, we'll find your your comment. Um, this is again in this era. I found that the title matches have been quite forgettable. Um, I believe the year before this. Wait a minute, let me switch this around in my head. The year before this, we had uh, Cena. Triple H and Randy Orton, I believe, at WrestleMania 24, and then this year we had um, we had uh, Randy Orton against Triple H. This is, the, this is actually the rise of the Viper as a character, for instance. Uh, and then we had a, a three-way between Edge, uh, John Cena, and uh, Edge, John Cena, and uh, Big Show, which seemed really weird and was an odd like love triangle with Big Show and Vicky Guerrero. Um, Again, fairly on the surface, very forgettable. The matches were actually pretty tremendous uh, uh, from what I looked at it. Like, it was actually a really fun match with uh, uh, the three-way with uh, Cena, Edge, and Big Show. Um, but, you know, that year, the highlight was certainly Shawn Michaels and The Undertaker in that case. And that story there. This is kind of, I think this is the precursor of what we end up getting with Rock versus Cena. Um, they did that on the lower profile of the show, and then they did a big profile version with Rock versus Cena by having that be a year challenge into another challenge, you know. Um, very interesting. So it's the 25th anniversary of WrestleMania. We're, we're, we're crawling ahead. we got, got a few more shows left. Uh, for this uh, WrestleMania 30 Days experiment. And thank you so much. I understand there's some people in the uh, Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook group that are uh, watching this and, and watching WrestleManias along with me and along with this. And some of them doing a better job of it uh, than I am and getting a little further than I have so far. So I uh, really appreciate that and getting your thoughts. And also uh, some of you letting us know, I remember being there at the show or I remember being X place watching the show and i'm finding myself seeing a lot of that too so uh, wrestling mayhem show.com go check that out and please sign up for the newsletter at indie wrestling.us for all the news on the podcast for wrestling mayhem show uh as well as uh, uh releases we're doing from sorgatron media and pro wrestling and documentaries and all kinds of fun stuff we're working on we'll see you guys next time this show is a member of the sorgatron media podcast network Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.